Hi, I'm Anna Zimmerman from the San Francisco Department of Environment. The goal of our department is to help all San Francisco businesses and residents take an active role in protecting and enhancing their urban environment. Our green business program seeks to identify and recognize businesses that stand out as environmental leaders. One important aspect of becoming a green business is to reduce the toxic chemicals found in your workplace. We'll help you choose greener alternatives and provide information on how to properly dispose of toxic chemicals. Many of us are not aware that there are chemicals all around us. Items such as paint, fluorescent light bulbs, cleaning products, and air fresheners often contain hazardous ingredients. There are two ways that chemicals can become a problem, and they're very much linked, but we think of them separately. One is how they impact our human health, and the other is how do they impact the greater environment, the planet around us. And this second area is very challenging for us to think about because we don't see that impact. It's happening somewhere else. When we are using a toxic chemical and we are done with it and we pour it down the sink, turn the water on, flush it down, it goes straight to our sewage treatment facility, yes. But then it goes to the bay, it can end up in rivers, in lakes, in the air, in the soil. They are out there and they come back to haunt us at some point, whether it's in the water we drink or the air we breathe or the fish we eat. There is no such thing as a way. The thing about how toxic are these products, what are the health impacts, it becomes a very difficult question to answer because it depends a lot on the person. Some of us are more susceptible to asthma than others. Some of us are more susceptible genetically to disease. And you can't tell by looking at somebody how a product is gonna affect them. Choosing greener or environmentally preferable products will help you create a safer workplace and meet the pollution prevention standards of the San Francisco Green Business Program. So let's start with one set of products, cleaning products, a common set of chemicals used by large and small businesses. Cleaning products can contain many hazardous ingredients. Chemicals such as ammonia, chlorine bleach, 2-butoxyethanol are all harmful to human and environmental health. Cleaning with any of these products can lead to headaches, dizziness, and respiratory irritation. Given all of these hazards, it's important for businesses to choose greener cleaning products and to use cleaning methods that minimize exposure. So there are really two ways you can uh, keep yourself safe. One is to choose better products. Another way is just to protect yourself against the products that you're using. Choose cleaning products with less hazardous ingredients. You can determine which chemical ingredients a product contains by looking at the Material Safety Data Sheet, or MSDS, and reading the ingredients listed on the bottle. When choosing cleaning products for personal use, select highly ranked products on goodguide.com. If your business uses a janitorial service, require them to choose institutional grade cleaning products that have been independently certified by Green Seal or Eco Logo. You can also find safer cleaning products screened by the Department of Environment using the SF approved catalog. Limit the use of disinfectants. 95% of germs can be removed by cleaning with just soap and water. Always follow the dilution instructions on cleaning product labels. If available, use automatic dilution equipment. Use microfiber cloths and mops to help reduce exposure. Wear gloves and goggles to further protect yourself. Another product that you want to use as little as possible is pesticide. In order to do that, you need to have something called an integrated pest management program. You prevent pests in every way that you possibly can, by sanitation, by caulking holes, by removing food sources and water sources and harborage. If you have a big challenge, we recommend pest control professionals. In addition to buying safer cleaning products and using integrated pest management, you can also follow these simple steps for green purchasing that will help you greatly reduce the toxics in your workplace. Buy fluorescent light bulbs with low mercury content. You can find these in the SF approved catalog. Purchase office paper whitened without chlorine, which will be labeled process chlorine free or PCF. Print your marketing materials with soy or vegetable inks instead of solvent based inks. Buy EPEAT certified computers. 
which are more energy efficient and made with fewer hazardous materials than typical computers. Dispose of any unused or hazardous materials found in your business. You can call the VSQG program to make an appointment. We've just identified a set of green business practices that will help you create a safer workplace and a healthier environment. Here are a few examples of local businesses and their unique steps to go green. My name is Marcus Tregueros and uh, I work with Rainbow Grocery. Rainbow Grocery has been in, in the San Francisco Mission District since 1975 and uh, we are the country's largest retail worker-owned cooperative and our main focus is to provide affordable, organic, local products. A lot of the pr cleaning products that we sell, a lot of that people buy, all-purpose cleaner seems to be the biggest one. Laundry detergents is also a big alternative that people are using. Some of the other things that we sell can be things ranging from uh, drain cleaners to uh, tile cleaners and also carpet shampoos. Selling green cleaning products winds up giving us our store a reputation so people who are learning to become more uh, environmentally conscious and want to uh, change their lifestyles use our store as a stepping stone and as a destination uh, to buy products like that. It can also be an uh, educational experience for customers to come in and see the alternatives that we have and learn that there's new and different ways to clean their house and daily lives. Um, my name is Leslie Silverglide. I am one of the co-founders of Mixed Greens. We're an environmentally responsible restaurant concept. We serve tossed order gourmet organic salads and handcrafted sandwiches. First and foremost, we need to focus on the food that we serve. We really make sure that we serve the highest quality, freshest, organic, local, sustainable, seasonal ingredients that we can. Our customers are really impressed by the fact that our commitment to green goes throughout our whole entire operation. So one thing we're really proud of is whenever you walk into a mixed greens just after construction has finished, you don't smell anything. And that's because we really try to eliminate all toxic products in our stores. So for instance, we use zero VOC paint. We don't use any sealers on our floor. Any wood products we do use, we make sure that it does not contain any formaldehyde binders. One thing we're doing to take it a step further is that we've just installed this green wall and the idea behind that is that we're going to be able to grow and harvest lettuce and herbs straight off the wall and at the same time it's cleaning the air that, that the stores have. So it's a, it's a pretty unique, cool thing that we're trying to do. My name is Stefan Mühle. I'm the general manager for Orchard Hotel and the Orchard Garden Hotel in San Francisco. The Orchard Hotel has 104 guest rooms. Is just a couple of blocks from Union Square. The garden is two blocks away and uh, new from the ground up. As our team was putting together an action plan, we realized that much of it had to do with going green. So what we did was we came up with um, a little in-house experiment. We had chemical group and we had natural group. Chemical group continued to use the housekeeping products as we always had in the past. The other group had their housekeeping carts outfitted with the new products. After six weeks, suddenly natural group felt, hey, these new products are actually working quite well. Um, and they started to talk to chemical group, who in the meantime was starting to get interest in natural group's success. The whole thing was really a four or five month project before everyone was on the same page we made them participate in the project, they became part of the final product and service, and it grew organically from the ground up. So green cleaning gives you an opportunity to reduce the hazards in your workplace, probably save money, not spend money, and in all probability have higher productivity from your workers. So the real question is why wouldn't you do it? Using chemicals in a smarter way and finding safer alternatives whenever you can is what we need, the message that we want to get across here in the Department of the Environment.